Hey, good morning YouTube, 12th of October 2021, updating on African Violet Babies from Leaf. So I've got three pots to show you today, one leaf here, one leaf here, which is a bit slow, not doing so well, the babies are quite small, and one from last year, which is now grown quite big. There's three pots in this plant, and this is about a year old. Yeah, about a year and two months it has had one bloom and i'm waiting for a second bloom from it so this lot is doing really well this is a one year growth uh, 14 month growth on african violets propagated from leaf this is my last lot this particular leaf is doing well this one and this one Planted at the same time, but this one had a bit of damage. The leaf went flat. Maybe the roots got upset and restarted. So it's not doing so well. So that's the update. And as you can see, there are several plants in there, probably three. And I will count them out for you next time. Uh, we will look for the central leaf. It is the very tiny one. And then the leaves that go around it. I'll tell you which is an individual plant. Now, the question I have in my mind is, will there be a dominant plant in this? Because African violets, they will tend to be territorial and take over the pot. So at some point, I might want to separate them and put them in three different pots and have their own pots and will grow to a nice wingspan across the pot to its best potential. I look forward to that. I'll let you know when I separate these into their own individual pots. They could be separated at an earlier stage, say like this, uh, easier, but also more delicate, with a more delicate root system. So I'm a little reluctant to separate them right away. But it can be done. This stage it can be done. This stage, no, it's too early. All right, so that's the update on my African violets. I want to get a thumbnail of this. Thanks for watching.